Hey, um, so today I have a video that's completely not related to what I usually talk about. No food, no fruit, or anything like that. This is actually a editing tip. So one question I get asked a lot by other um, YouTubers is how I do the text overlays in my videos. Because I do use iMovie, I don't use Final Cut Pro or anything fancy like that. Um, but I do have pretty customized text in my, in my videos. So I'm going to show you how I do it today. Um, you do need to have either Photoshop or um, Adobe Creative Suite or a program that I usually use actually is called Adobe Illustrator, but I, since you, I'm guessing you probably don't have that, I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop. So what I do is I open a new document. Um, the size doesn't really matter as long as it's big enough to fit your text. And the important part is that in this um, drop down right here where it says background contents, you want that to be set to transparent. So then we're going to hit OK. And then um, you're just going to type whatever you want your text to be. Move it so we can actually see it. And then um, once that looks the way you want it to, then you're going to go up here to File. You're going to go to Export, and you're going to export it as a PNG file. The reason you want to use a PNG is because a PNG will have um, a transparent background, which is really important uh, so you don't have a white box around your text. So just export that to wherever you want it to go. And then let me go to a movie that actually already has something. Um, you're going to come up here and find your file and you're just going to drag it in on top of your, here, let's do it over here so we can actually see it better. You're just going to drag it in on top of whatever part of the movie you want it in. And then you're going to go to the crop selection tool up here and you're going to go to style fit and then um, you're going to go to the overlay button right here and you're going to switch it to a picture in picture overlay. And now you can just resize and put your text wherever you want it. And then when you play your video it will just be there. So that is how I do my text in my videos. It does take a little while, but it's a lot easier to customize, and I just think it's a lot um, easier to work with than the basic iMovie text. So, yeah, if you have any other questions or if, um, anything I need to clarify, then just ask me in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.